It's pretty deep down here. <laughs> okay, hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? How's it going? And if you're coming back, what's up? How's it going? It's very good to see you again. You see what happens when you subscribe to my channel? You get an extra greeting at the beginning of every single video. So press the subscribe button for an extra greeting. Folks, we got a great video for you today. I'm very excited. I'm so excited. Are you guys ready to get deep? Are you finally ready to accept the fact that we live in a society? Get a load of this society. It's going to get deep. Deep. <laughs> Weird. So I've been on the internet for a long time, probably like, f oh my God, like 15 years now. Holy shit, I'm very old. So I've seen a lot. I've seen a lot of the internet. I've grown up with it, basically. It, the internet has seen all parts of my life. And there was a small portion of my life where I thought I was a very smart person. I was probably 14 or 15 and I was like, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, I know that. Oh, and I also know that. Oh, what's that? I know that too. Around that time, I was also uh, on Tumblr a lot. I use Tumblr so much, way too much. Tumblr, if you don't know, is a, a site where, you know, people share their photography, their, their thoughts, their emotions. They just share everything, you know? I mentioned Tumblr because it has a lot to do with today's video. There was a lot of hormonal, emotional, artistic teenagers on Tumblr. And when you mix all that together, you get some very moving content. Content like she believed he lied, or the classic, realize, realize, realize. Just straight bars, dude. <laughs> That's the original bar. This is content that you see when you're like 13 or 14 and you're like, oh shit, dude, it says she believed, but also he lied. <laughs> <laughs> this particular type of content has been named Fake deep. Fake deep? Isn't that what Shane Dawson just talked about in his, in his newest conspiracy video? No, idiot, you're wrong. Those were deep fakes, okay? Deep fakes are very harmful to society, but being fake deep is much more harmful to society. I think. Fake deep content is when someone is trying to be smart, um, woke, or creative, or anything, but it just... It's just not that at all. It's just, like, really bad and cringy. You know, it's like the opposite of deep. Shallow. It's shallow content. You got the actual like smart, woke, creative content over there in the deep end. And the fake deep stuff is over there in the kiddie pool with your baby cousin. Just peeing. Peeing everywhere, dude. The fake deep content is pissing babies. That's what it is. <laughs> so I've searched the internet far and wide and I've compiled a great collection of fake deep poems, drawings, everything. And we're going to look at some. We're going to figure it out. We're going to get to the bottom of this fake deep content, even though it won't be that hard because, you know, it's shallow. But um, cha, that was a drum sound. So we're gonna get to the bottom of this phenomenon and we're gonna figure out how to stop it. Should we stop it? I don't know. We'll find out. Strap your water wings on because it's about to get deep. Deepers creepers, it's going down. <laughs> really quick, I wanna give a shout out to the subreddit. Uh, I'm 14 and this is deep. Uh, very funny, go check it out. And I found a lot of these posts on there. So yeah, all right. Let's get into it. Let's get into this FDC, fake deep content, baby. Okay, you'll notice a lot of these posts are like drawings and a lot of them are really well done. Like they're impressive drawings, but the, the message that they're portraying is never really a good one. Like this one, for example. So we've got a girl, she's on her phone. You know, that's fun. She got a like. And then we just, we just got this old man in a wheelchair being smart and he's, he's reading a book. And dude, look at all this. There's a bookcase coming out of his fucking head, bro. Phone bad, book good. That's the name of this painting, phone bad, book good. People are too busy walking around on their phones. They need to wheel around in a wheelchair and read a book, dude. And I'm glad someone's finally speaking up. Does, and it doesn't matter what book you're reading, all right? As long as it's a book, it means you're smart. Could be a book about how to use your phone more and still makes you smart, doesn't matter. Cause it's a book. Comforting lies, unpleasant truths. Oh, and you got a lot of people there and then, okay, nice. These are just lazy. It's not letting you like figure anything out. It's like, yep, this table's for comforting lies and this one's for unpleasant truths. You could just swap these out for anything. You know, you can do extra greetings and one greeting. It's easy. 1990, yet you got a skinny guy and um and a big TV. And now in 2008, there's a, a bigger guy and a skinny TV. Cause you know, obesity didn't exist in 1990. Only TVs were overweight. And there were all these dietary pills for your TV. You'd be like, come on, open up TV. 
Come on, put your TV on a meal plan. And then all of a sudden 2008 rolled around, now we're getting big? Ugh, and now our TVs are slim. What happened, dude? Before smartphones. How old is Barbara Streisand? I think she's 71. Really? Wow, who's Barbara Streisand? After smartphones. I'd love to think that this was made by Barbara Streisand. <laughs> no one's talking about my age anymore. They're all, they're all too busy on their phones. Before these iPhones, everybody was talking about my age. They were guessing my age, they were talking about my age, and now it's just Facebook, Facebook. What's the deal? Never give up and never beg. A picture with very deep message. Okay. <laughs> well, thanks for letting me know. <laughs> I thought it was just a random picture, but then I read the bottom and I was like, oh wait, yeah, you're right. It does have a deep message. And I guess the message is, um, I don't know what it is. If it is what I think it is, it's really fucked up because it's saying that like, well, this guy's homeless and he has both of his arms and this guy, he has no arms, but is still carrying bricks on his head. It doesn't matter if you have arms or no arms, you should still carry bricks on your head. In all seriousness, I guess, I guess they're trying to say like, there's no reason for you to be homeless. Everyone, you should just work hard. You know, just get a job. And that's just so fucking out of touch. Oh my God. <laughs> you know, there's like PTSD, there's schizophrenia, there's so many other issues that go to poverty and homelessness that aren't just based on how many fucking arms you have, you know? There's a lot wrong. You see, it's like this fake woke shit. It's being like, Listen, I don't care how many limbs you have. If you aren't carrying a fucking house on the top of your head, you're not working hard enough, all right? Never give up, never beg. When there are only 80 of you left in the world, but nobody is helping you because they're all too busy taking selfies and flossing, guess I'll die. <laughs> Be very funny if something like, I'll just show you what I'm thinking in my head. This is a great dance, guys. I love this dance. This is fun. Let me take a selfie really quick. Whoa. Oh, guys, wait, wait, guys, stop. What about the rhinos? The rhinos went extinct because of the backpack kid. All right, you heard it here first. I be making animals extinct. 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 Quit treating your girl like a snack. Treat her like a garden. Take care of her and she'll feed you forever. Just like pouring water on her every morning. <laughs> You're gonna grow to be a big, Big girlfriend one day. You're my little garden. Hold on, let me get my hoe. What do you mean your hoe? Like my hoe. Oh, you thought, okay, that was stupid. I was so dumb. Went to the moon, took five photos. Went to the bathroom, took 37 photos. Yeah, dude, girls are dumb. They're always in the bathroom taking photos, dude. But this astronaut man, he only took five. And he was on the moon, so. I don't know. All that tells me is that this astronaut was a dumbass, man. You should've took way more photos, bro. Dude, if I was on the moon, my phone would fucking explode with how many selfies I took. Why didn't they take any selfies on the moon? I'm gonna write a letter to NASA and be like, the next time you idiots are on the moon, you better take a goddamn selfie. Dude, you know what? I'm gonna train to be an astronaut, and when I get to the moon, I'm gonna take a selfie. For you guys, all right? Free book, uh, no one's there. Free Wi-Fi, and, and okay, and everyone's going in. All right, everyone wants Wi-Fi and not a single person wants to read book. <laughs> There's just one. There's just one free book in there. No shit. The thing about Wi-Fi is that a lot of people can be using it at the same time. A book, it's one person. That's a one person thing. You ever tried reading a book with some another person? That's bullshit. This is the thing that pisses me off, man. There's so many things you can do on the internet. You can watch a dog uh, lay down next to a cat. You can watch... Uh, a guy fall off a chair. You can watch a guy talking about country boys. There's so many things on the internet, man. And a book, cool. Books are great, don't let me, I don't wanna like put off the wrong message. Books are great, okay? But no one's gonna be running into a room that has one book in it, fucking pushing everyone out of the way like, fuck off, this is my book, all right? Give me that one book. There's also like books that you can buy online and read them through Wi-Fi, so dude, Ah, this is another one where you can just change the words and make it something completely better. <laughs> school, six cruel hours of our lives. Dude, as much as you hate school, I think you should stay in it. <laughs> Whoa, it's like, dude, that's, that's crazy. It's like the Facebook logo, but it's also like a Periscope thing. 
and that's also the name of an of an app, bro. Dude, this is so deep, dude. I can't tell if this is a picture of Facebook as a periscope, or if it's a picture of the Marianas Trench, dude, because it's so deep. It's it's funny to think of someone seeing this picture and like explaining it to someone, but like trying to take credit for the idea. Like, yo, dude, you ever think Facebook is just like a like a big periscope and we're just looking through it? And Facebook isn't periscope. Periscope is a whole other app. What are you talking about? That doesn't no, make any I mean sense, like man. we're like we're looking through Facebook as like a periscope, and that's how we see our lives. But the door is open. And we can't no, just go out. You can't and do periscope it. on Facebook. It's a different. It's a, a completely different app altogether. L let me show you Facebook really quick. Oh, no, get that away from me. Life is a collection of moments. Yep. Uh, yes, it is. You could. This could say a lake is just a bunch of water. A bouquet is a collection of flowers. Curtis is the best YouTuber. You know, everybody knows that. Dude. Okay. My dog just started barking. Even even he knows this is a good one. Okay, so you got these uh, these pills, right? With all these um, all the apps on them. Like apps are pills, dude. Because like we're 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 addicted, bro. We're we're addicted to these apps, bro. Appetizers. I need my fix, dude. Give me a bruschetta. <laughs> I get where they're going for, I guess. But the funniest thing about this picture is that fucking Uber is one of the pills. <laughs> Who's addicted to Uber? I can't stop ride sharing, dude. Dude, last night I was tripping on Uber, bro. Like, actually, I was on a trip in a car. <laughs> Every single day you make a choice. Okay, there's a lot to unpack with this one. I guess the main thing they're saying is that, like, you either make a choice to be sad or happy, which is, you know, just not true at all. Again, there are people who have, like, genuine mental illnesses that don't allow them to do that. They're, what they're also saying is that if you sit on the sunny side of a bus, you'll be happy. But if you're sitting on the one side of the bus that's darker, then, then I guess you're sad. And I don't know if that's ever happened, because this is just one turn of the bus ride. Do they just keep alternating back and forth to whatever side is dark and whatever side is sunny? What if they go through a tunnel? Then they're both sad. That's sad. This is just another idiot being like, oh, depressed people? Just be happy, dude. I'm going to draw this to... To further explain my stupid point. Okay, this next one, I don't really understand. We got like, um, some sort of like camera or something, I think. And then like filming two people. And, um, I guess it's showing on the TV or something that it's, uh, I don't know. This doesn't really make sense. Oh, wait, hold on. It's media. Oh, okay. Now I get it. It's a good thing they put that big fucking arrow there and it said that so I can understand. Whoo. Thanks. Thanks, whoever made this. Hey, it's media. Hey. It's media. You get it? You get it? Because this part's only being shown on the screen. It's media. It's what media does. Okay, <laughs> this one we got Mickey Mouse just raking in the likes and the followers and the comments. We love a fucking influencer king. And then we got this regular mouse with no likes and no comments and no followers. Absolutely no clout. A cloutless mouse. No shit Mickey Mouse is more popular than some random mouse. Who made this? Fucking get your clitless mouse out of here, dude. I know the famous mice. Okay, so this one, I guess, like, she's posting about her grandma on Instagram. Love my gram. Love, love my gam gam. And then we also have her grandma fucking lifting up the couch with her on it with one arm with ease. I hope her caption is, my grandma is so fucking strong. <laughs> this says a lot about our society. If you take a selfie in the ocean, a shark will eat you, and that's the shark guarantee. But also, that picture is going to get a lot of likes, even though it's taken on the first digital camera ever made. But still, if that goes on Instagram, dude, the engagement on that one's going to be through the roof. People are prisoners of their phones. That's why they are called cell phones. <sighs> Fucking bars, bro. Using a phone and being in jail, the same thing. I'd love to see a movie like... You know, the Shawshank Redemption, but just about someone not using their phone as much. <laughs> Handy Dufresne. He finally stopped fucking posting on Twitter every two seconds. Now he only does it sometimes. He crawled through a pile of shit on his phone and came out clean the other side. <laughs> that was probably the worst Morgan Freeman impression that you'll ever hear in your life. Here's another fucking phone bad, but good one, you know? It's raining phones and uh, they're using a book as an umbrella to shield themselves from the phone, from the phones that are falling from the sky. 
So this is saying that they're like, they're smart, they're knowledgeable, they're using books. You're like, fuck off phones. I got a book umbrella. If they're really smart, they would scoop up all these phones and sell them. Y'all are dumb as shit. Hey, hey, who, we're fucking dad and daughter. You guys are dumb as shit. Sorry for being cruel. All right, this one makes no sense. <laughs> we got uh, people who've all pissed in the pool. Oh, this is fake deep. Dude, it all comes full circle, dude. Whoa. Cause you know how I mentioned earlier in the video that fake deep posts are just the kiddie pool with a bunch of peeing babies in it? Dude. That was crazy. Uh, like maybe you should start pissing in the pool. Is that the, is that the lesson? Or if it's like some sort of piss cult where I, <laughs> I've never said those two words uh, after the other. It's some sort of piss cult where it's like they're initiating the next like inductee, I guess. They're all like piss, 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 and then he, and then the, uh, then he finally pees, and then they're all in unison. They're all like, "Great, you're in. <laughs> you're in," I say. Woo! Oh my God, you got me a like. Oh, I had this heart, and you didn't even like it. Love is dead. I cut out a human's heart and gave it to her, dude. Why didn't she like me? Why didn't she go on a date with me? Flip your phone. All right. It's the same way, dude. What, what happened? That was stupid. So dumb. Okay, so we got a, uh, a girl walking and she, uh, she sees a book. Whoa. Oh, and she uh, picked up a book and now she's reading the book. Oh, and now she's... A smart girl. This is fucked. Hey, really quick, this is fucked up. This tastes like, uh, misogyny. With like a, like a hint of racism there too. If you got big boobs and big butt, then you can, if you start reading books, then that'll go away and then you'll just be a white girl. What do you, f yeah, this is bad. I'm, whoever made that, I hope you get eaten by a shark. Okay, I think that's all I can take. Um, I'm pretty sure you understand. It's way too deep for me, dude. Way too deep. I gotta come up for air. I'm all for people um, learning new things, sharing these things, talking to people, you know, making commentary about society and stuff. I'm all for that, dude. We need, we need that to happen for us to, you know, evolve and progress as, a, as humans, you know? So smart, dude, I'm so smart. But there's just a better way of doing it than this stuff. Like most of these are totally missing the mark, they're missing the point, and they're just condescending and- Very cringy. And a large percentage of these pictures are like, phones are bad and they're ruining everything, you gotta read books again. Phones are the reason everything is fucked up. It's the phones. And usually the people who buy into that idea are like, the older people who are actually to blame for why everything is so fucked up right now. I mean, yeah, we pretty much destroyed the entire economy and made it next to impossible for people to make a living wage and to, you know, own their own house and start a family, but yeah, the, fu the fucking iPhone, dude. And the apps, and the Twitter. It was the phones. You know, I think phones, social media, the internet, it's all brought the world closer together. We're all connected, okay? And that's a good thing, but that's also a very bad thing because you see everything, a lot more of society where a lot of it used to just be like in the background or somewhere else where you just never knew it, you know? And now we realize that like older people fucked everything up and they just need something to blame instead of blaming themselves, you know? Get off your phone. Dude, back, back in my day, phones were not as good. What's the message that I wanna get across? I don't know. Is it use your phone more? Probably not. I guess the, uh, the message is we're all just trying our best to uh, put everything back together, you know? And maybe when we're in those positions of power, maybe we can do something. But until then, we gotta keep looking at these stupid fucking pieces of art. Great. Love it. All right, dudes. That was fucking deep, wasn't it? I'm gonna hop in my, my deep wrangler and fucking drive out of here. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please press the like button. One like equals one book, because we all love those, right? We're so smart. So one like equals one book. And uh, let me know if you wanna see a part two of this video because there is no shortage of these fucking pictures and I'd love to make another one. So let me know down in the comments if you wanna see a part two of fake deep content, dude, FDC, my guy. Also, don't forget to press the subscribe button because I make a video every week and you'll also get an extra greeting at the beginning of every single video. So press the subscribe button and join Curtis Town today. Also, in my description, you will find links to my social media, my Instagram, my Twitter, 
Also, links to my weekly podcast called Very Really Good. It's free. It's on Spotify, iTunes. Listen to it on your way to school, when you're at school, on your way to work. It's a lot of fun. And I do it every week. And it's uh, if you enjoy these videos, you'll like the podcast too. And there's also a Patreon for that podcast where you can get early access to episodes and a bonus monthly video episode, dude. Wow, it's crazy. You can also get my merch too. Wow. The description is full of good things. Just go check it out. I've been Curtis Connor. Thank you so much. I'm going to go um, burn every book I own. See ya. <laughs> hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to see more from me, there's some videos right on the screen that you can just click and you'll watch another video. That's so rad. Also, don't forget to press that subscribe button. All right. Come on. What are you waiting for? Okay, bye. <laughs>